It says, oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord high, most high is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. He will subdue the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. And he will choose our inheritance for us, the excellence of Jacob, whom he loved. The word of God is already blessed.
verse 58. Praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. Praise the Lord. The New King James Version, it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, or always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. And for a thought on this evening or this morning, we want to share with you uh, our hope for today, tomorrow, and eternity. Hallelujah. Our hope, hallelujah, today, tomorrow, and eternity. Praise God. Amen. I'd like this little praise. I've been to the fire. And I've been through the flood, been broken in pieces, and left all alone. Yes, but through it all, God bless me. Through it all, God has kept me, and I still have my praise. Here we see wars and 
there's crimes and sin, amen, racial injustice and the pandemic can leave us feeling as if there is no hope for the future. Uh, uh, the lack of hope can stifle our desire to serve the Lord. Amen. It can cause us to, call, to come to the place where we say, uh-huh, what the way or what is the use? Uh-huh. And I want you to know that we do have a reason to hope for today, tomorrow, and eternity. And let me share this truth uh, containing these verses today with you. First, that the people of hope. Uh-huh. Who are the people, those that possess this great hope? Amen. In verse 48 or 58, Paul calls them my beloved brother. He is referring to the children of God. Uh, not just the believers in Corinth, but the saints of all ages. He is talking to you and he's also talking to me. Bless the Lord. We, those who are born again, are the people of hope. And yeah, you do an inventory on yourself. Amen. If you have not been born again, then you are going to be deprived of the hope of your calling. Praise the Lord. And we are the people that have been delivered by grace. Uh-huh. In Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, uh, 10, it says, For by grace, you have been saved through faith. Uh, that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Verse 9 says, not of works. Look at that. Lest anyone should boast. It ain't what you do. It ain't what you've been doing and get it. Oh, my, you ain't got no reason to boast. Hallelujah. Grace is the unmerited favor of God. You don't have to do anything to obtain it. God loves us so he shows you grace. He shows grace on the unjust as well as the just. Yes, Amen. He said, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works uh, which God prepared beforehand uh, that we should walk in them. Uh -huh. We have been brought uh, into a personal a faith relationship with Jesus Christ. Have you been delivered? As your neighbor sitting next to you, have you been delivered? Uh-huh. Then if you have, then you have hope. Amen. If you've been delivered from the world, amen. If you've been delivered from sin and shame, you have that hope. We are a people destined for what? Glory. Amen. Don't you know we are destined for glory? As you read this chapter, this book talks about you come to understand that God has some big things waiting for his people. For the blood-washed believers, God got some big things waiting for you. Uh, whether we leave here by means of death or rapture or, or we possess a powerful hope, praise God, of a bright and better eternal future. Thank God for Jesus. Our eternal future includes our final victory. You will find that in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning at verse 50 to 52. And listen to what it says. It says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Oh, behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Uh -huh. But we shall all be changed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And in a moment and in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump will sound and the dead will rise incorruptible. Uh -huh. And we shall be changed. Amen. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, amen, we are going to be changed from mortal to immortality. Ah, oh my God. And I'm looking forward, amen, for this death and glory that we are going to receive from our Lord and Savior. The question is, huh, do you have that hope abiding in you? Amen. Do you have it? Oh, I am glad that I have hope for today, tomorrow, and eternity. Uh-huh. I'm looking forward, amen, that things may look bad down here. Uh, uh, but our eternal hope is out of this world. Yes. They're the people of hope, and, and then there are the power of 
of hope. Amen. Amen. There's power. Amen. In having the hope of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Listen in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. It, it, again, it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast. Hallelujah. Be steadfast. Immovable. Amen. Don't be in and out, up and down, there and here. Uh, be unmovable. Praise the Lord. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Knowing that your labor, listen, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. What you do for Christ will last. Amen. Whenever you serve God, whenever you work for God, whatever you do in the name of the Lord, whatever assignment that God has given you, it will be counted. Amen. The Lord will bless you. You will receive a reward. Amen. For your labor. Paul is telling us today that the hope we possess is, is, it, it is a motivator to spiritual action for God's glory. You can't be just sitting in the pew doing nothing. You can't be just talking loud and saying nothing. You can't be living in the attic and your services in the basement. You've got to get busy for the Lord. The scripture says, work while it is day. For when night cometh, no man should work. Hallelujah. Knowing that the truth about God and salvation is a powerful motivator uh -huh, for service. Amen. You see, belief always affects behavior. I, I, I think you missed that. I, I better say that again. That belief always affects behavior. Hallelujah. Praise God. Believing the right thing about Jesus and about the future will cause us what? To get busy for his glory. Hallelujah. He has commissioned you. All of you that sit around waiting for your degree or sit around waiting for your appointment, huh? Uh, that, that the word of God has told you to go out into the highways and hedges and to compel men to come in, that my house might be full. We should be busy doing the work of the Lord because of the hope that we have in God. We want to be able to cause others to come into the family and receive this reward that is waiting for us. Hope causes us to be steadfast or to be stable. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. The word steadfast means to be seated, rooted, or settling firmly seated uh, in the Lord. It reminds us that we are huh, to be rooted and grounded in what we believe and hope and hold true. Hallelujah. We are to be steadfast and firm. Amen. When you are seated firmly in our personal convictions, the bottom line is this. If we have no, oh my, we might waver in our faith. Uh-huh. If you don't have no hope, you're going to waver. You're, going, you, you, you're not going to be steadfast. You, you're not going to be rooted in the word. Some little thing comes, some little adversity comes along. Ah, it'll cause you to throw in the tide. Uh, when you're going through maybe some financial issue or personal issue, a relationship problem, a financial or in the health or medical or whatever the situation could be, amen, you've got to be rooted in the Lord. You've got to be steadfast. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And be wavered in our faith and wander off after the things of the world. Come on, what's the use? Why should I? I might as well go on back and do what I was doing. Oh my, that's how the enemy works with you. When you don't have hope in God, amen. He can talk to you. This is what John, uh, uh, First John, amen, amen, uh, 2 and 15 says here. Do not love the world. Uh-oh, this done hit somebody. Keep your foot up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. See, if you love the world, the love of the Father ain't in you. There's no room for Jesus in you if you love the world. Hallelujah. You can't mix the world and the Lord at the same time. It don't work. The Bible didn't say that the spirit and the flesh wore it. You cannot do it. You don't have it. Hallelujah. Amen. The love of the Father is not in you. When our hope is real, it causes us to be stable 
in our what? Faith and our walk. Amen. When you are real, when you are sincere, when you are sold out, huh? You you will your your walk, amen, and your faith is real. It is steadfast. It won't move. I don't care what the devil do. I'm not giving up on the Lord. Uh -huh. Then uh, we be in the first name we sing a song and uh, in the in there are verses that says, You can talk about me each as much as you please. For the more you talk, what we gonna do? We gonna stay on our knees. Huh? Huh? Because of why? We have such a hope in the Lord that we know that whatever adversity that the devil brings up against us during these unprecedented times, we will stay with the Lord. Amen. Amen. And hope counsels us. Amen. To be stubborn. Praise God. And the word unmovable means not moved from a place. Firmly presented. Uh, motionless. Oh my God. Look at that. We must allow nothing to move us from our determination to serve the Lord. Don't let nothing move you. Huh? Hope challenges us to be strong. Thank you. Abounding has the idea of exceeding uh, a fixed amount that are overflowing exceedingly. Uh, when we consider what we have and who we are by grace, look at that. We will be motivated to go all out for the Lord. Hey, I'm sold out for the Lord. I go all out for the Lord. I'm not concerned. I'm not worried about all this and other stuff and, and, and uh, uh, this and that. I'm, I'm serving the Lord. Amen. I can do it even I have to do it by myself. Praise the Lord. Because why? It's because I love him just that much. Amen. And I'm all out. I'm all in. I'm not holding nothing back. Amen. Because I want to uh, serve him. And if we must err, uh-huh, uh, let us err on the side of doing too much uh, for him, uh, of going too far for the Lord, or being too on fire, or of being only financially or financial for him. Uh, I, I'm putting all in, I'm doing it all, I'm constantly looking forward to it. I can't wait to come to church. I don't, I don't can't wait to go to prayer. I can't wait to go to Bible study. Amen. I can't wait to tell somebody about Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, because the hope that is in me. Amen. And it's given me that great expectation. Praise the Lord. And it is impossible to go uh, too far for, with Jesus. But the least we can do is give everything we have for his glory. Oh, look at that. Hallelujah. Everything we have. Time. Money. Energy. Talents. Gifts. Bodies. Mind. Spirit. Everything. Yeah. Hallelujah. Should be invested in nothing but Jesus. Some of you right now have been holding back. You've been sitting on a gift and a calling that the Lord has already commissioned you to do. But you always all you worried about this. You're worried about man and fool thinking. Uh, and you're sitting back on it. Hallelujah. But you got to get busy yes. and do what the Lord has commissioned you to do. So everything should be invested in nothing but Jesus. Hallelujah. Our prayers today, our praise and our thanksgiving should be given hand uh -huh, and feet as we lay, lay everything what we have and are at the feet of our redeemer. Yes. Praise God. And what is the work of the Lord? Abounding in the work of the Lord. Huh? You got to be abounding in the work of the Lord, doing what the Lord says. When the night comes, can no man work. So I must work while it is day. Oh my God. Every opportunity that the Lord allows me to see is an opportunity for me to serve Him. Oh my goodness. I've got this tremendous, my hope, and for today and tomorrow and for eternity, is taking advantage of every chance I get to help somebody see the Lord. Hallelujah. Here are some of the examples, I mean, of his work. You've got to be a witness. Huh? Acts 1 and 8 says, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. 
and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and in the uttermost part of the earth. If we want to be uh, the people of God, we redeemed uh, us to be, uh -huh. we then must walk in hope. Hallelujah. Letting the light of Christ shine brightly for a lost world we see. People are lost. They need to see Jesus through you. And Matthew 5 and 16 says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your works, uh, your good works, and glorify your Father in heaven. Bishop Talley says, used to tell me, he said, you got to let your light shine. You can't make it shine. Uh, that people can see the glory of God, amen, which is in heaven. Amen. God saved us to get busy for him. So we are the people of hope. We who possess the power of hope. And now we who believe uh, in the promise of the hope. Amen. If there is no hope for eternity, no rapture, no possibility of a resurrection, if all we have to look forward to Oh, is his is the grave? Then we will have uh -huh, what a real reason to be in despair. Praise God. Uh -huh. This is exactly what Paul is saying in verse nineteen. He says in First Corinthians fifteen, verse nineteen. He said, "If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable." Hallelujah. There is hope for those who have their faith in Christ. Hallelujah. Look at that. Our hope gives us confidence. Hallelujah. Amen. You've got to have confidence. Amen. Amen. And when you have hope in the Lord. Paul tells us we know that our work for Jesus matters. Uh -huh. There is no sacrifice. There is no struggle. There is no self-denial. Uh -huh. No valley, no mountain, no work that goes untouched. Hallelujah, unnoticed. And none will fall or fail to pay an eternal benefit. I want you to know that this is worth its weight and gold. Having hope in God and doing for the Lord, knowing that my labor is not in vain, knowing that I'm going to receive a reward for my service. Hallelujah. I don't want to stand before the Lord and he tells me to depart from me, you work of iniquity, for I don't even know you. I want him to say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful of a few things. Now, I'm going to make you rulers over many. So my hope in the Lord is I'm doing it because I love God and his word commissioned me to do this. So keep praying, keep serving, keep living for Jesus. What you do for him in his name is not in vain. Praise God. Then it is not, uh, it's not a waste of time. It, 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 it is uh, uh, not an exercise, amen, in futility. And, and we see it all and we know it all. One day he will reward it all to us. Revelation 22 and 12. Look at that. And behold, I am coming quickly. And my reward is with me. Uh-huh. Amen. And to give to everyone according to his word. He is watching it. And if you are doing all we do for him and his glory, good God, we can be sure that we see it all. Amen. Our hope gives us consolation. Hallelujah. Sometimes the road we, we, we walk is hard. Amen. Sometimes the burden we bear, amen, are heavy. Sometimes we work uh, uh, and are called to do things endless and, and unrewarding. But I want you to know the word used to describe it is the word labor. Uh huh. It has the idea of work that results in pain and agony. Praise God. And sometimes our walk with the Lord, amen, is just that. It is just like that. Huh? There are times when it seems that no one knows and no one cares. A lot of times you're serving and, and, and feeding the homeless and, 
and, and sharing and giving and look like nobody cares and no one thinks. Hey, but the Lord does. He said, my eyes is in every place. Yeah. Behold the evil and the good. Everything you do there are, are trying to you you may feel unappreciated from that you are carrying out huh, a, a, a tent and a, a thankless task. But I want you to know that God will thank you in the end. He will give you that reward. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so I want you to have this hope. I want you to know that the Lord will bless you. Amen. He has spoken to you about something you are doing, something you are not doing. Amen. Or something you need to be doing for him. Amen. I thank God. Amen. For hope. But hope is not the end of the matter. Praise God. Hope is merely that catalyst that should cause us to get busy. Amen. In the Lord's work. Praise the Lord. Father God, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the hope that we have in you. We want to hear those scientific words of well done, good and faithful servants. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee rule over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to touch those that are streaming today. There's someone that's 